We, we start with a crime alert tonight. A 17-year-old sits in the Jefferson County Jail charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Port Arthur police say 17-year-old Jose Cortez shot two other teens in the parking lot of a meat market in Port Arthur, right across the street from Thomas Jefferson Middle School. He's currently behind bars in the Jefferson County Jail on a $200,000 bond. Luckily, Cam, those two teens are expected to be okay, but of course, the shooting has left parents and residents with many questions. Absolutely, and some parents even told us they didn't send their kids to school today out of pure fear. Here's what we know right now. Shots rang out just as school was dismissed at Thomas Jefferson Middle School on Thursday. According to police and witnesses, a fight started across the street, moving its way from the middle school to the parking lot of La Vaquita. The suspect is 17-year-old Jose Cortez, who is currently in custody at Jefferson County Correctional Facility. A spokesperson for PA ISD says he is not a student in the district, and when it comes to Texas laws, a 17-year-old is considered an adult. Suspect uh, commits a crime when they're 17 or older, they would automatically be processed and handled by the juvenile justice system, and they would be held in an adult facility. If they're under 17 but over 10, if they are allegedly committed a crime, they would be handled in the juvenile justice. Two PA ISD students were struck by the gunfire and hurt. Parents say they are very concerned and want the violence to stop. We spoke with one mom whose daughter was nearby when the gunfire erupted. I found out because my kid is a cheerleader at Thomas Jefferson and she was after school for cheer practice and she just kept calling calling and so when I finally answered I found out that she told me that two of the students had been shot and so she was nervous and scared and she wanted to come home. Today there was heightened security at Thomas Jefferson Middle School. Counselors were also on hand to speak with any concerned students. We reached out to the district and a spokesperson. They said there's no further comment at this time. And of course, we'll keep you updated on air and online as we learn more.